Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and if it's your first time here, you are so so welcome. Yeah, so today we are finally somewhere I've been keeping a secret for a long time. You know, last year when I came to Ghana, I decided to invest in something which is pepper farming and uh, you know, I wanted it to be a success story before I start talking about it. So finally, we are in the farm and uh, I'm so happy with the results. And actually, we have our manager in the farm as well with us. He's been the one taking care of the farm and uh, it's really, really amazing. And uh, I'm going to encourage all young Ghanaians out there who are thinking of farming to go ahead and do it because this business is profitable. Even though it takes a lot of time, money and attention, but I would say it's really, really profitable. You know, I would like to take you all through the farm and show you what it actually looks like. Yeah, thank you so much. So, um, if you want to get the best out of your pepper farm, you want to um, prepare the seeds yourself because if you want to buy them, you add uh, to the cost of the farming. Yeah, so you want to prepare the seeds, which is quite easy. So I will just brief you all on how we got our seeds. Yeah, so you just need some ripe peppers like what you see right here in the farm and uh, you know, just scoop out, the, just try to pick out the seeds from the pepper and dry them for maybe two days. When you are done drying the seeds, uh, prepare an area with um, loose soil and compost, you know, and uh, just spread your seed there it depends on the amount you want just spread them there and uh, with some water in a few days they will sprout and uh, they will grow and when they are done growing you, you know you can do this in polythene bags like little polythene bags if you want and in a few days they will grow yeah so i would advise you to do your nursery close to the farm you know because if you do it away when the plants are young they are very fragile and you can lose a lot of them if you are trying to transport them so your nursery should, should be close to the farm where you want to um, grow your pepper yeah so usually it will take you just about three weeks and uh, you are good to do the transplant yeah it's very very easy it's very very easy you know there are other other plants that are really fragile i know like it, it takes a lot of energy to to grow them but these ones are quite resistant they can really thrive on their own you don't really need to pay attention to them even though you need to but not like a lot yeah now let's talk about uh, planting our pepper when you get them from the nursery you know they don't have to be all choked up you know because then there will be competition in terms of nutrients and water sunlight and stuff like that so you want to plant them like let's see 18 to 24 inches apart you know in a sunny and well drained spot you know when you when you look at the soil we are dealing with um sandy soils they really thrive in sandy soils they don't like like um muddy i don't know how to describe this kind of soils like clay areas they don't really thrive in such area but if you do them in very um in very well drained sandy soils they can really thrive and immediately you do the transplant of the pepper make sure you water them like the place has to be um, wet because you know they might fall they might they might die because they are very fragile so you have to make sure you you water them and uh, one more reason why you have to space out the plant is that you know um they, they, they usually catch like diseases and uh, if they are like uh, competing with others let's say in terms of space they might end up transferring the diseases and uh, it might spread it might spread to to all the farms some people think by planting everything like chuktob you are uh, going to gain a lot of space and plant even more and maybe uh, harvest more but that's not really the case you have to like spread them out so that in case of disease um you, you are not going to like suffer a lot yeah and uh, one benefit of uh, growing pepper is that you know they have like um they have a natural standing structure you don't have to support them like tomatoes maybe their branches will be breaking and stuff like that if you get like um, very heavy tomatoes on them but um, with pepper they are very strong upright plants so you don't even have to do anything when when it comes to um, supporting them yeah 
And uh, one thing about pepper farming is that um, you have to be careful when it comes to the pH of the soil. You know, like pepper can survive between a pH of 6.0, uh, 6.2 to, to 7.0. Although they can tolerate something slightly higher, let's say 7.5, but if it's too high, your pepper will not do well. So you have to consider the pH of the soil as well. Yeah. Personally, I've been trying everything possible to grow um, Irish potatoes in Togo, but because of the pH of the soil, each time I grow them, they rot. I don't know what I can do to fix this problem. Please, if you know what I can do, to like grow um, potatoes in very salty soils, let me know because the soil is really, really salty. But they are very loose and sandy soils that potatoes can really thrive in them. But the fact that um, it's salty, my potatoes will always rot. Please, if you know about something I can do to fix this problem, then let me know because um, it can really help me a lot. It can help me. I've tried, I've tried, I've tried, I've tried. I don't know. I'm so frustrated. Yeah, so let me know what I can do so that my potatoes can thrive. Yeah. So I would like you guys to take a look at the farm. You can see there are no weeds, nothing else but just the pepper. The reason is because um, peppers are very, very competitive, you know. If there are weeds here, trust me, your pepper is going to lose a lot of nutrients because the weeds are going to end up sucking everything from the soil and your pepper will be losing a lot of nutrients. So for your pepper to gain everything and give you a lot of yield, um, it has to be weed free. You can see like they are constantly like always they try to like remove all the weeds so that if there is any nutrient on the soil in the soil um, The pepper will consume everything. Yeah, that point is very very important. Yeah So if there is one thing that can really really destroy your pepper farm <laughs> These things are insects insects can eat up the leaves like if they get into your farm and start destroying the leaves and you don't do something about it they will destroy the whole farm so you have to constantly use insecticides you know sprayed on the plants so that the insects can stay away because when you spray them they will repel the insects and uh, they will not really attack the leaves but if you don't do so oh my god it's a waste of time yeah especially where there are a lot of insects these days i don't know where they come from you just see some funny i don't know funny kinds of insects just attacking your plants especially when it comes to corn beans potatoes pepper there are just some insects that are just coming from nowhere and attacking the plants so you have to always use insecticides to like spray the, the uh, spray on the on the plant so that the insects can stay off the farm as i don't know you have to okay so if you like to increase the yields of your pepper farm you know you have to add in something you have to fertilize the farm maybe from um let's say you can use like chicken waste cow dungs and goat waste all those things you can really increase the yield and you don't need to add a lot because um they have a lot of nutrients or how do i put it they might end up burning the plants you, you just add what the soil needs you don't you don't just have to go in with a lot and maybe end up burning your plants just add what the soil needs yeah that's it so looking at the farm you will see that some plants are actually drying off and uh, I, I want to tell you the reason why when you want to grow your pepper make sure you don't have termites in that area or let's say ant colonies and stuff like that because if you have these termites um, whatever you grow they will not succeed they will eat up every it depends on the crop though some crops can actually thrive on termite infested areas but when it comes to pepper don't do it at all the pepper drying up they had like termites under so I don't know if they are eating the root I don't know what is happening but most of the peppers that were around the termite infe in infected area were dying yeah, so you have to be very careful when it comes to the place where you want to grow your pepper. Yeah. And uh, we also have a very big problem in this farm. 
uh, we have rad moles and squirrels coming in to to eat our pepper but as well you know there are certain things that you cannot really prevent even though you can do something about it uh, in terms of squirrels and rad moles you can set traps to like catch them you know maybe reduce the population coming in to eat even though they will still come but things like birds there is nothing you can do yeah birds are coming here to feed on them so to prevent this you you make sure you always harvest the pepper when they are ripe because um the ripe ones usually uh, attract them a lot the green the green ones don't really attract them but the ripe ones so um this is what we are facing in the farm yeah we have a lot of them coming in to eat and like it's not really easy always harvesting like all the ripe pepper because you might harvest today and maybe in three days you, you already have a lot of ripe pepper so they are always there eating and chewing <laughs> the pepper yeah so some of you might be wondering after harvesting the pepper what next do we take them to the market no we are not taking the peppers to the market right now we are going to um actually boil them not like over boil the pepper though yeah we are we are going to um steam them up and dry yeah because this pepper is very expensive when it's dry than when it's wet yeah, so we prefer to dry them and sell them. And usually this pepper is taken to Togo and it's very, very expensive in Togo, you know, and other neighboring countries. But mostly it's grown in, in Ghana. Yeah, so after we harvest our pepper, we are going to like steam them and dry them for maybe two weeks. When they are completely dry, you can put them in like, let's say 50 kg, 100 kg. All of them have like different prices. And from there, you are ready to sell yeah so i know a lot of people will be wondering how much do you need how much do you need to start a pepper farm i'm just going to give you all a rough estimate on how much you need to start a pepper farm and uh, i will advise you to 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 nurse the pepper yourself because if you want to buy the seeds it will be very very expensive the cost will be high so for one hectare you need about 40 us dollars to pay the the guy with the tractor to come and till the soil that's 40 us dollars already okay and uh, you need compost of course but for us we are lucky we have um we have it free we have compost free so if you are going to buy compost you you you, you can budget about let's say um about 20 usd 20 us dollars i'm saying it in usd so that ev every everybody can do the uh the everybody can convert into their local currency yeah so let's say 20 is enough and for the seeds you need about 20 as well you can go and buy like this red pepper in the market and remove the seeds and dry them and you are ready to nurse them so um actually it takes a lot of energy to to plant the pepper you know because we did it on two hectares so you can employ two people for let's say um um 10 um 10 usd each 10 dollars each so if you guys are like three in the farm if you employ like three people to come and grow it for you that's like 30 already yes it's not easy <laughs> yeah and uh, if it's really dry let's say you do not have the chance to get like rain you have to get people to water the farm as well when you do the transplant yeah so from there when the plant is growing you need to buy um insecticides you need to buy um fertilizers and stuff like that you know it keeps adding in it keeps adding in and when you have like this wheat grasses grass in the farm you need to you need to like get people to come uproot them for you and uh, i will say that's basically it and boom you are good to go actually the cost is not really high yeah and uh, that's not it let's say you are not available in the farm you need to pay the caretaker as well the person who is always there checking on the plants you need to put them on a salary yeah they don't they cannot just go there every day check on your plants send pictures videos and stuff like that for free yeah so that's another one but you might be lucky to get somebody who takes care of the farm and maybe will share the profit with you when everything is ready to sell but if they are not like that you have to pay them let's say monthly yeah so the cost keep it keeps adding in and 
Yeah, but at the end of the day, I would say pepper farming is really, really profitable. And uh, the reason why is because um, this is like the, the, the third time they are here harvesting the pepper. And guess what? This pepper can stay uh, in this farm for, for almost, let me say, um, five months. And it keeps giving you pepper. Like you keep you keep coming and harvesting, you get tired. The, you know they they are very resistant. They can stay for a very long time. Unlike um, short-term crops, like let's say tomatoes, it's a short-term crop as well. But let's say you harvest tomatoes for some time, they are dead. Um, you harvest corn once, and that's it. Yeah, but pepper is always here as long as you are taking out the weed and you know constant rain and maybe adding in a little bit of fertilizer and some soil you are good to go the pepper will stay here for a long time so it can be really it can really be profitable yeah it's something that keeps yielding even though in a point there will be a point where the plants will just dry off but it's okay it's going to take a long time before it does that because you know there are crops that you plant and you harvest it and that's it and that's it you don't gain anything else but these ones you harvest them today tomorrow they are still giving you more you see the difference yeah so pepper can really give you a lot of money a lot of money and uh, there is one thing too about the pepper plant this plant is very very resistant even though um, there was no rain for a very long time the plants were dead looking very green and fresh but if they were other plants they would die they would wither and die but you know it was there let's say you were to cultivate corn and maybe for like a month or a month and a half there is no rain the corn will they will not give you anything but you see pepper is there with water or no water it thrives some of them might die yes some of them might turn red yes but the plants will still be there the moment little water drops on them they will just revive like they will just start growing and yeah you are good to go so pepper is a crop that you should really consider because it can give you a lot of money it's profitable i tell you it's very very profitable um here you can see that these ones barely have leaves it's because of the the rain like there was no rain so some of the leaves were falling off but you can see it still has a lot of pepper to give you <laughs> even though the leaves are not there yeah so when the rain finally came for some few days you can see that these ones are really thriving like you can see the leaves are really really green yeah so peppers are really really um resistant in terms of rain they can they can do well in very wet weather like very let's say when it's rainy and the weather is cold they can thrive and when it's dry they can thrive unlike other crops let's say there is a lot of rain and you grew something like beans everything will rot in the farm yeah because they don't they don't really like rain yeah even corn if you grow like corn and it's rainy a lot the corn might rot but you see pepper is, is like it's there even if it's cold even if it's dry they are always there yeah so i'm really happy with the results and i'm happy i did this and i'm going to keep doing this i'm really really happy with the results of the farm so if you want to grow pepper as well i will advise you to do it it's really really profitable you can i don't know i i just hope that um, this in inspires somebody to go ahead and start their pepper farm as well the way I did mine yeah so I can say I will continue growing pepper and if you like the video please make sure you give me a thumbs up comment what you think about the farm like share you know by liking and sharing the video it can promote the video to other people youtube can promote the, the video to other to people as well so thank you so much i really appreciate you can you see how <laughs> red the pepper is this is what our pepper looks like thanks to mother nature look at what we have thank you so much i really really appreciate you and i'm really proud of myself i'm happy i did this investment i don't regret it at all and i advise you to do it as well and uh, yeah until next time thank you very much for watching up to this point i really really appreciate you thank you